this hot, hot summertime. And the uh, black and yellow argy oaks are quite busy. There's a couple of them eating away. There is a black and yellow argy oak hunting in my woods. It's a beautiful spider. And his body's maybe an inch and a half long. The whole spider might be five inches from leg to leg. Just a nice specimen of an argyope. There's a big argyope there. It's about head high, so I have to be careful when I walk down this trail to, to duck under the web. It's just a beauty. Big and fat. There's a few males on the web. Here's the back side. And this is a big old fat spider. And just up above her, I don't know if I can get it as a male. There's a little male that's just kind of hanging out. These are harmless spiders. Uh, if they bite you, it's not a big deal. Um, non-venomous. This is the one they always pull out of the stock uh, video for all the survival shows. They'll pull these guys out and put them out there and whoo, scary. I mean, they're big and they're mostly just beautiful. Uh, I think down here they call them uh, banana spiders or uh, garden spiders. There's the RGO on its sunlit web. Very pretty. There's another RGO. Beautiful spiders, all black and yellow. Just waiting for something to fly into its web. And they like to hang out on my trails. There's the trail. And the webs are all along here. But I try to avoid uh, hitting these things. So I'll typically duck underneath the web. And it keeps the spiders around head high, but uh, I try to identify them and then kind of duck underneath so I don't damage the web. And there she is, in all her stately beauty. There's an argio. It's eating a cicada. So you can see the size of them. Cicadas are pretty big. You know, the cicada got caught about, that's about eight feet off the ground, up in that web. Looks like there's a big female with a little male next to her. That's pretty interesting. So kind of active this morning. Now my hand's about on line with the spider. So that kind of gives you an idea of the, the size of that fella. This old Argyops managed to grab a hold of a moth this morning. It'll make quick work of it, wrapping it up a little bit. And uh, nature's rough. Nature's very rough. Uh, there's a food chain out here that uh, starts with the microorganisms in the ground and goes all the way up to the, the biggest animals in the woods, the big snakes and the coyotes and the bobcats. And uh, everything plays a part in it. Again, a uh, healthy ecosystem has all the parts of the food chain. And if you break those parts of the food chain, sometimes things get a little, a little wonky. 
of course nature runs in cycles you know a good example is rabbits you know the rabbits can uh, be quite numerous and then the predators will be few but then in a year or two the predators will be numerous and the rabbits will be few and that's just kind of a cycle that runs out of whack with each other but it's, it's the way the it's not linear it's cyclic uh, it's the same thing with all these little critters out here spiders and lizards and rodents and birds they all have their little little cycles again just the ecology and the environment out here the uh, the food chain is very very intriguing you can see a little male kind of coming into the picture he's trying to see what's in it for him I'd be cautious little fella <laughs> that's big mama there don't don't rile her up